residential market analysis and highest and best use. Chapter three, using the market analysis. Page six, levels of analysis. It should be very evident by this time that communication with the client is essential if the appraiser is to determine the appropriate type and level of analysis required for the assignment. How will the client be using the appraiser's opinions and conclusions? This is a question that must be answered if the appraiser is to successfully complete the assignment. By communicating with the client, the appraiser will be better equipped to determine the proper level of analysis and gather sufficient data for the analysis process. Appraisers must determine the appropriate level of analysis. For instance, scope of work required for the assignment. Appraisers must decide how much data will be required for the assignment. Appraisers would generally consider a combination of current information and historical data when analyzing the market area for those indicators of demand and supply that are relevant. Communication with the client is essential as it helps an appraiser make an appropriate scope of work decision. However, this decision is the responsibility of the appraiser and no one else. If the marketplace is found to exhibit stable characteristics, market condition adjustments may not be found to be supportable or necessary. If the market is found to be unstable and values are fluctuating up or down because of the changes in demand and supply, market analysis may provide the necessary support for a market condition adjustment to the comparable property sales. As stated above, a combination of current information concerning demand and historical data relative to supply characteristics will prove to be invaluable to support the appraiser's conclusions in this example. Inferred analysis. This type of analysis is used by the appraiser to project the demand for properties based on current market trends. Inferred analysis is defined in the Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal, 6th edition, as a prediction of future market conditions based on inferences drawn from general market information, published data, and historical trends in rents and absorption rates and occupancy for similar property types. Fundamental analysis. This is defined in the Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal, 6th edition, as a prediction of future market conditions based on comparison of a quantified estimate of future demand with a quantified estimate of future supply, also known as fundamental demand analysis. <laughs> Market Analysis for Valuation Appraisals by Stephen Fanning, MAI, Terry Grissom, MAI, PhD, and Thomas Pearson, MAI, PhD. Inferred analysis is principally performed using the studies and surveys of others, secondary data, while fundamental analysis relies primarily on the appraiser's own data searches and surveys primary data. Investment analysis. This type of analysis examines the present worth of a future benefit. You are right if you equate that statement to the principle of anticipation. Investors want to know the market perception of an acceptable rate of return for their real estate investment. Included in this analysis will be the consideration of an appropriate holding period for the property, anticipated cash flows during the holding period, 
and the anticipated return when the property is sold at the end of the holy period. The frequently asked questions asked of the appraiser are, how much should I pay for this property considering that I want a percentage return from the investment? Is my percentage return from this investment realistic? How long should I hold on to this property to maximize my investment? How much cash flow can I expect during the holding period? How much can I resell the property for at the end of the holding period? If the investor is going to tie up his or her money in real estate, he or she will want an acceptable rate of return for this investment. If that rate of return cannot be achieved, the property is not a good investment for the investor. Feasibility analysis. This type of analysis will relate to the client whether the market considers such a project worthwhile. That is, whether or not the market needs this particular project. There must be a financial benefit from this project for it to be feasible. If the cost to purchase the site and construct a four unit building is estimated at $300,000, then the marketplace must be able to recognize that $300,000 cost plus the developer's profit as the minimum value for the project when completed. If that is the market reaction to the construction project, then the market has determined the project is worthwhile or financially feasible. The market has indicated a demand for the four unit building. End of page.